Guys, this is Sophie from REST Community, and today I'm going to show you how to flash your watch with its stock ROM. You need to download SP Flash Tool, make sure the drivers are installed, and also make sure the USB MTP device is also installed. Everything, I will put a link for what you need to download. Locate the SP Flash Tool where you put it, extract it, and open it. Make sure here it's download only if you want to flash it with its stock firmware. If you want to upgrade, you choose upgrade. But if you want to flash the stock ROM, you choose only download. But you never choose format all and download because you will lose your IMEI if you do so. Now, go to schedule loading file, choose, look at the file where you put it. It's already open or where my file is and you make sure it ends with txt. I want to show you something. Here are two files, the Q7 and the S1. And as you see, both of them are the same model. That's why I can use not just the S1 firmware, but also the Q7 firmware if I want. For today, I'm going to show you with the S1 firmware. As you see, everything is uploaded. The preloader will be marked only if you're using this firmware for this model. If you are using different firmware, please ask us before you flash your watch, because if you don't ask us, you can break your watch and you not always can fix it. Preloader will not be marked if you are using different firmware that is not for your watch, but the specs of the hardware is the same. After I chose download only, I will click on download and then make sure the watch is off. Please don't make any mistake. The watch will not be start flashing if it's not off. Connect the watch to the PC. As you see, that show you that my watch is connected and start flashing. Again, the watch should be off when you start flashing because, because it won't start flashing. And in the whole process, I'm, you, I'm holding the watch with its cable because I don't want something goes wrong because if it goes wrong, sometimes you won't be able to flash again. The moment you finish, you will see a, a big V mark. The whole process shouldn't take more than 10 minutes and even 10 minutes it's more than enough. It's very easy. You download the firmware that you need. You download the SP Flash tool. Make sure drivers are installed. Make sure that USB MTP are installed. And that's it. Open SP Flash tool. Look at the files that ends with TXT. Upload it to the SP Flash tool. Make sure the download only is chosen and then Click on download, connect your watch to the PC. When it turned off, it's not, it should not be on, it should be off. And the moment that you connect it to the PC, it should start flashing. That's it.
and the process has finished. I'm going to turn on the watch. This is the S1 model, not the Q7. But again, I can flash it with the Q7 firmware. This is not the plus. This is the first generation, not the plus. It should take a while because, again, it's after flashing it, so that's why it's taking time before it's start to boot. Sorry guys, it's always that way after flashing. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Hello. That's it. It's uploaded. Now I just set it up and that's it. Okay, please subscribe and any question, please ask on the forum. I will bring a link for everything that you need. But again, feel freely to ask any question about the process on the forum. See you.